Hey everybody, Paul here, back once again for the first quick tip of 2021. Hope you guys survived <laughs> your holiday break for 2020. Um, I don't want to sort of uh, assume that everyone had a good one or anything like that, but uh, if you're here and you're watching, um, yeah, let's try to make this year a better year. Now, I've got a really good quick tip to kick off the new year with. It's something that is very, very useful, um, and I'm gonna be using it in terms of my uh, comic shaders, which utilizes node groups. Uh, so there won't be any demo file for this quick tip because I am using the paid version, but this is going to be something that helps you not only with node groups, but any bones or uh, any other sort of information that you find that after you import a bunch of library files, you happen to have a lot of redundant duplicates. So without any further ado, why don't we jump into Blender and let me show you how to quickly clean up a bloated blend file. Let's get started. I'm just gonna open up a fresh Blender file. I'm gonna delete a couple of things. Why don't we go ahead and delete this collection delete the default cube and delete the default light, but we'll leave the camera in there. And what I'm going to start with is by appending, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and append this collection because this will bring in everything. Uh, yes, it's the familiar pod and a key light because this pod here has got the paid version of the full comics shaded. I'm just using this as an example because this is a problem that comes up a lot. You've appended your file, it looks great through the viewport, but all of a sudden you've decided that you want to append this model for the purposes of duplicating it and adding new materials, but you don't want to duplicate all the stuff that came with it. And part of that is unavoidable. So let's go ahead and duplicate this uh, pod. I'm gonna go Shift D and shift it over in the X direction. Okay, and I'm going to move that to a new collection. I'm gonna call this pod two. Uh, may as well uh, relabel this one pod one. So we've got pod one and pod two. So I'm going to select everything in that collection. I'm gonna hit shift D and I'm going to duplicate and move in the X direction over here. Uh, and why don't we move these two objects to its own collection. Pod three, there we go. Uh, and now we want to import a couple of materials. They utilize exactly the same node groups, but watch what happens when we go file, append. Let's go back here to materials and I'm going to go red hull. And uh, uh, let's import them one at a time because this is going to make my um, uh, demonstration a lot more obvious. So I'm going to append the red hull material. You can already see that a new key light comes in, okay, we've already got a duplicate there, and then I'm going to append the yellow material. And again, another key light pops up. So what we're gonna do is gonna take this uh, object here and make that a red hull material. And I'm going to take this one and make that one the yellow hull material, okay. And that's all well and good, looks great, okay? We've got these lovely comic shaded pods and everything like that, and um, we've got different materials on them. But you'll notice that, say, this yellow hull material now has duplicate halftone and base cycles uh, node groups. Plus, what's more, we've got these horrible extra key lights, okay, that we don't need. Also, if we uh, go into our shader window and we want to add any further groups, you go Shift A, go down to groups, you'll see that all of a sudden you've got all of these duplicate groups and we don't want that. We really, really want to clean that up. Why don't we go over here to our outliner where it says display mode, go down to Blender file. The first thing we want to open up and take a look at are node groups and we'll see automatically that you can see all of the duplicates, all right? Now, here is how we go about deleting these duplicates, all right? We go select, shift select, and you'll see that there's the top one that's got the same name. We can right click and we can go remap users. We give it a new ID of the first one in the list and we hit okay. We do the same for any other duplicate uh, file. So we'll do this for the halftone. 
And while we're at it, let's go ahead and remap this key light. We remap the, the, the user to MS key light. And once that has been um, done, we go over to file, clean up, purge all. And what this will do is it will get rid of any duplicates that we don't need anymore. Now, because the lights are objects, we're going to have to delete these two. But if we begin to rotate this key light here, you'll notice that it works over everything because all of these node groups now have been cleaned up. And just to show you, uh, just to check that, we can see that yes, that has now been reduced to just the node groups that we need. And if we go Shift A, Groups, we will see that those groups have now been reduced as well. And so that works for anything in a blend file. Now, of course, if you have things like objects, you may need to go and delete duplicate objects, but any dependencies will be retained because they have been um, uh, remapped to uh, their new user. So I hope you got a lot out of this quick tip tutorial. If you like what you see here and want to be updated of any upcoming videos, do consider clicking that subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out a lot. And if you're feeling at all generous, why not jump over to my Patreon page and join my legions of Patreon supporters. It's the support on Patreon that makes the production of these videos possible. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye for now.